What is cracking peoples? It's Lee Man X here, and I figured today we take a look at the planet Aquila in Starfield and take a look at all the different types of flora, fauna, and its two ecological traits. But before we get into that, if I can get a quick like or subscribe if the content is useful to you or you enjoy the content, I'd very much appreciate that. And let's dive into this. So, Aquila is in the Cheyenne system, and the resources that it offers are cobalt aluminum argon water benzene and nickel but we're not going to focus on the resources um, i'm just going to focus on the fauna flora and the two ecological traits because the resources are fairly easy to find in this uh, on this planet you literally could just go in any direction and pretty much find all the resources you need i started here in this forest section literally just went in one direction and i found all the resources on this planet within the first five to ten minutes all right so i'll be showing you a look at what type of plant and animal life you can expect to be scanning when you get on this planet so right here off the bat we have a savannah sweet bush and i'd also like to mention we will be looking for ten different types of fauna five different types of flora and the two ecological traits that this planet has. If you're doing these yourself, um, keep in mind you have to scan 10 of one type of plant in order to receive uh, one credit in the flora category. And the same rule applies for the fauna category slash the animals. All right, so we have a golden creeper right here. Let me get 10 of those. There's another one I scanned. Savannah, oh, there we go, Canary Reed, Chill Hook. Alright, so there's tons of these animals grazing and en cipher, grazing and cipher. I'm probably saying it wrong, probably gonna say a lot of these wrong, but you get the idea. This planet has tons of those bug looking things. So get used to seeing that when you're on here. Alright, so on the ground here we have a little bug called a crawling eruptrid. It's a hard one for me to pronounce, but you see that and then we got this bad boy right here. A bug runner. These things are pretty aggressive. So this guy's trying to get me and trying to laser him up with the mining laser. It seemed to work out for me. On to the next one. Here's a better look at the crawling eruptrid right there. Alright, so here is our first ecological feature. Right around this corner, up this mountain. Start scanning it right there. Try to get a little closer. So it's an exposed root system. Pretty weird looking, but beautiful at the same time. And so one down, one more to go. And right here we have a drop song through these trees. Get a nice little scan on him, got him. There we go. that I can barely pronounce their name correctly and so this guy is a predator an Astra these things are everywhere no matter what environment they're everywhere hunting and pestering all the other poor animals and there's another buzz runner right there for this level one. So we're gonna have to bring in the big gun. All 
All right, so after that, we really couldn't find any more resources in that area of the planet. So we're going to try a different type of environment. Scan the planet here. So we're going to try one of these frozen plain areas and try our luck there to see if we can find what we need. So here we go and right off the bat we find a cold cave nettle. So there we go, there's already one new plant and that was the last of the plants we needed um, as far as the flora goes. So um, we got all five of the flora covered, now we just got to focus on the fauna. That was the hard part in this planet. There's 10 of those. So speaking of fauna, we got another new animal right here. An elk Krangan. These things are kind of aggressive as well. not many more animal life left and what do we know we got our second geological feature area right here unexplored geological feature and we got some kind of crystals going on around here up oh, there's another animal a flying leech so crystal matrix is what the second geological feature is and then you'll notice there's these flying leeches everywhere so there goes another animal that we needed. So I think we're down to like three more animals left from here on. So again, we kind of exhausted that area where we weren't able to find any more different types of animal life. So we're going to go to a region we haven't explored yet and it's the savanna type region. So here we go. Right, so we're in some savanna action and I really actually like this environment and we found a baleen rotifier so there we go I think we're down to two more animals left that we need to find so definitely got that covered now they seem to be in groups of like three or four in the air whenever I came across these rotifiers they're always in groups, there's never just like one by itself, thank goodness, because it took me a while to even realize that there was stuff flying in the air that I could scan as far as the animals go. So this next animal right here was my favorite animal that I found on this planet and it's called a mosk nath. Reminds me of a brontosaurus, is probably why I like it. And uh, we got a good scan on that. Let's take a closer look and get a better look at this beautiful animal. Oh snap, I think you heard us. So, uh, lucky for us, I don't want to get trampled by one of these things. And just up here a little further, there's a whole herd of these bad boys. So I couldn't help it, I had to run through them all and just get another look. And of course get my scan on. So after all that, it was down to just needing one more animal to scan to complete 100% of the planet. And I looked forever, I looked for hours, and then I realized on the planet when you scan it, there's a part that says Savannah Coast. I'd never been to a Savannah Coast portion, just a Savannah. 
which uh, so the Savannah Coast obviously has the beach so I started looking around in the water and uh, look what I found So that is called a rainbow agnathan and that was all we needed that's all the animals and all the plant life needed along with the two ecological traits of the planet for a hundred percent thanks for watching guys appreciate a like or subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video guys peace out